Marcellusburg Castle is all set for the most scandalous Christmas ever for Frederick and Princess Mary. With 12 days left until Christmas Eve, Marcellusburg Castle is ready to welcome the entire royal family. As confirmed by the official Instagram profile of the Danish royal household, a team of Queen Margaret's 84 staff has already headed to the city of Aarhus to finalize details ahead of the sovereign's imminent arrival, scheduled for next week. Traditionally, Mrs. Margaret spends Christmas at Aarhus Castle, very important dates that this year she will be able to celebrate with her sons, daughters-in-law and, almost, all of her grandchildren, with the exception of Nicholas. Prince Joaquin's Firstborn The family reunion on Christmas Eve, which had not taken place for four years and was seen by the Danish press as a desperate attempt to show the family union in the midst of the controversy over the photos of Federico and Genevieve Casanova in Madrid that lecturers published exclusively. These initial preparations caught Mary Donaldson, 51, in Australia. The wife of Prince Frederick was traveling to her country of origin with her two young children in search of tranquility, and escaped from the pressure of the media at a time when her marriage is on everyone's mind. While the plans the princess made during her stay in Tasmania are unknown, the truth is that the trip is coming to an end as she plans to reunite with her husband and older children in Copenhagen next week. Like another pedestrian, the princess walked through the terminal with her children Vincent and Josephine as they waited for a second flight that would take them to the Tasmanian region where her father and brothers live. Aware of how many hours remained until the long-awaited reunion with her loved ones, Mary approached the kiosk, which was somewhat uncomfortable as she had to see her and her husband continue to make national headlines. And international. The princess reassured herself and got Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life, which is clearly a very important choice given the delicate moment she finds herself in. Although Mary usually travels to Australia on these important dates, it caused great controversy in Denmark that she did so without her husband's company, which could have sparked rumors of a crisis between them. The royal house refutes this information and assures that the trip of the princess and the twins was planned long ago. There is no official confirmation as to whether Frederick will join his wife and young children in the coming days. The reality is that the Danish royal family will celebrate Christmas at Marcellusburg Palace with Queen Margaret as well as Prince. Wife Marie and Children A family reunion that has not been repeated in four years and which to many is a desperate attempt by the sovereign to settle once and for all the controversy haunting her firstborn son. We will have to wait until January 1st next year, when the traditional New Year's Eve gala with members of the government and parliament at Amalienborg Castle, to see Maria and Federico together again. They will have to meet the press for the first time since the scandalous photos came to light.